B2 Spirit is a phantom, a $2 billion apparition that drifts through the clouds cloaked in silence and science. But what makes this stealth bomber so invisible, so powerful, so cool? Is it the radar absorbing skin? The alien like shape? Or the fact that it can fly from Missouri to the Middle East and back without refueling once? Thanks to its stealthy shape and special materials, the B-2 is extremely hard to detect during missions. One of its most significant operations happened on June 22, 2025, when it was used to strike nuclear facilities in Iran. Let's fly into the mystery. The B-2 is a powerful long-range stealth bomber developed by the US. It took its first flight in 1989 and officially joined the US Air Force in 1993. Yet the story of the B-2 doesn't start in the 1980s. It begins decades earlier, with a radical prototype that was far ahead of its time. Northrop Grumman's original flying wing design, the YB-49, debuted in 1949 but was not adopted by the Air Force at the time. The military wasn't ready for such radical thinking. It would take the Cold War's nuclear paranoia and four decades of technological evolution before Northrop's vision would finally soar. It took 9,000 engineers, billions of dollars, and breakthroughs in aerodynamics, material science, and avionics. When the B-2 finally emerged from its cocoon of secrecy, it looked like science fiction made manifest. This aircraft stands out thanks to its unique flying wing shape. It appears to be a single, broad wing without a conventional tail or body. Even though it's about the same length as a fighter jet, 69 feet, its wingspan is massive, 172 feet, nearly as wide as the legendary B-52 Stratofortress. No great weapon is built without controversy. In the 1990s, the B-2 was ridiculed in Congress for its astronomical cost and limited use. Critics said it was a white elephant, too expensive to risk in real combat, too complex to mass produce. The original plan to build 132 bombers was slashed to just 21. The B-2 Spirit is the most expensive aircraft in the world, with each one costing over $2 billion today. To put this in perspective, for the cost of the B-2 program, America could have built roughly 550 F-35 fighter jets or provided free college tuition to more than 1 million students. The astronomical cost led to a dramatic scaling back of ambitions. Only 19 remain in active service today out of 21 originally procured. Despite its limited numbers, the B-2 left a massive cultural footprint far beyond military circles. But the B-2 story isn't just about budgets and technology. It also has a darker side. Why would the genius behind the B-2 stealth bomber land in prison? Noshir Gowadia, a key engineer on the B-2 stealth propulsion system, was sentenced in 2011 to 32 years behind bars. His offense? Selling top secret details of the bomber's design to foreign powers, most notably China. According to the US Department of Justice, Gowadia helped enhance China's missile stealth tech by offering not just documents, but detailed consulting. He even pitched his secrets to other nations, Germany, Israel, and Switzerland. Gowadia claimed he sought recognition, not riches, but the court didn't buy the story. In the end, the man who once helped cloak America's most secret weapon now lives in a cell, stripped of the very security he once helped build. The B-2 is a pop culture icon. It has appeared in Hollywood blockbusters, documentaries, and video games. Its mysterious aura and otherworldly shape make it a perfect symbol of power and fear. In Independence Day, a B-2 delivers the final nuclear strike. In Call of Duty, it rains terror from above. Even in art and architecture, the B-2's silhouette is evoked in futuristic designs and urban myths. And yet, despite this fame, it remains off-limits to the public. Most people have never seen one in flight. Only a handful of journalists and defense analysts have been allowed inside. What makes the B-2 so special? One of the B-2's greatest strengths is its ability to sneak through enemy defenses. 
This includes minimizing its heat signature, sound, radar reflection, and even its appearance to the human eye. Although many of the details are still classified, we do know that its composite materials, special coatings, and distinctive flying wing shape all contribute to its stealth capabilities. The B-2 skin is coated in radar-absorbent material, RAM, absorbing waves like a sponge. The paint itself was developed in secret labs. It helps bend and swallow radar. Maintenance crews must handle it with meticulous care, applying special coatings to ensure the bomber remains as ghost-like in real life as it is on paper. The bomber must be housed in climate-controlled hangars to protect its delicate skin. Temperature fluctuations, humidity, and even rain can compromise the stealth coating, turning a $2 billion ghost into a very expensive sitting duck. Despite its invisibility, the B-2 is never alone. Surveillance satellites, ground stations, and refueling aircraft accompany missions. With a service ceiling of 50,000 feet and a range of 6,900 miles, the B-2 can strike targets anywhere on Earth with aerial refueling. Imagine a weapon that can deliver devastation to any point on the globe and return home for dinner, all while remaining virtually undetected. The bomber can carry up to 40,000 pounds of weapons, including conventional and nuclear weapons, precision-guided munitions, gravity bombs, and a range of maritime weapons. Picture a flying arsenal, capable of delivering up to 8,500-pound GPS-guided bombs or 16,2400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs. Each warhead contains the destructive power of 83 Hiroshimas. The stealth bomber is operated by just two crew members, a pilot and a mission commander. The cockpit of the B-2 is a refined command center for long-range flights, which can sometimes last over 40 hours. In fact, during Operation Enduring Freedom, B-2s flew missions from Missouri to Afghanistan and back, a 44-hour round trip across the globe, striking targets deep in enemy territory executed while entering hostile airspace undetected. Pilots who fly the B-2 don't just go through flight school, they go through a rite of passage. They train in darkness, learn to trust instruments over instinct, and are taught to vanish. Flying high above the clouds, a B-2 bomber can cruise smoothly with just one pilot at the controls while the other takes a break. However, when it comes to significant tasks like taking off, landing, dropping bombs, or refueling, both crew members need to be fully engaged. B-2 runs on four turbofan engines, which are designed without afterburners. That helps reduce heat emissions and boosts its flying range, even though it means the B-2 doesn't fly at supersonic speeds. It can reach a top speed of 628 miles per hour. Though the B-2 was initially built for nuclear missions, its main role today is delivering conventional weapons. These bombers are based at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, but they've also operated from overseas locations such as Guam and Diego Garcia. Over the years, B-2s have been involved in several key missions. They struck targets in Serbia in 1999, Afghanistan in 2001, and Iraq in 2003. In the 2010s, they were used in operations over Libya. More recently, in October 2024, B-2s targeted fortified storage sites in Houthi-controlled Yemen. And in June 2025, they were used to strike nuclear facilities in Iran. In 1999, during NATO's Operation Allied Force, the B-2 flew its first combat mission. Two aircraft flew directly from Whiteman Air Force Base to Belgrade, Serbia, dropped JDAMs, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, and flew back. A 30-plus hour round trip without stopping, and they did it without ever being seen. It was the first time GPS-guided bombs were used in combat, another milestone. The B-2 changed the rules of modern warfare. The all-time record for the longest B-2 mission still belongs to two retired Air Force pilots, Melvin Diehl and Brian Jethro Neal. Back in October 2001, just after the 9-11 attacks, they flew an incredible 44-hour mission to strike targets in Afghanistan. Jump to June 2025 and the tension was just as intense, this time with a daring mission called Midnight Hammer. In this high-stakes operation, 
nearly a third of the entire B-2 Spirit stealth bomber fleet took part. Their target? Critical military sites in Iran, including underground bunkers and air defense systems. The mission was a masterclass in coordination, relying on more than 30 aerial refueling tankers and global intelligence support. Remarkably, every B-2 made it back without a single mechanical issue, demonstrating the aircraft's exceptional reliability. But even the best warriors grow old, and the Pentagon is already preparing its next ghost in the sky. As of 2025, the U.S. Air Force has 19 B-2 Spirit stealth bombers in service. Although rarely publicized, the B-2 has had its share of brushes with disaster. One aircraft was likely retired after being damaged in an incident in 2022, and another was lost in a crash back in 2008 during takeoff in Guam. The only total loss in the fleet, the culprit, moisture had interfered with the flight sensors. Video of the crash is hard to forget. The aircraft lifts off smoothly, then suddenly stalls and crashes in a fiery explosion. Thankfully, both pilots ejected in time and survived. Still, the aircraft was a total loss, $1.4 billion gone in seconds. The Air Force plans to keep the B-2 flying until around 2032, as its unique capabilities are too valuable to retire, despite the costs. However, the B-2's high-maintenance expenses, limited fleet size, and 1980s design prompted the Air Force to pursue a stealthy successor. That's where the B-21 Raider comes in. The B-21 is expected to reach initial operational capability by 2027, with a fleet target of at least 100 aircraft. So, the next time you hear a whisper in the sky or see absolutely nothing at all, you'll know. The B-2 might be passing overhead. Curious about the next generation stealth bombers? Want to know what it's really like inside Area 51? Or maybe you're just here for more flying things that cost more than small countries. Hit that next video and let's keep chasing the shadows together.